Good morning, Choctaw. I'm Sam. I'm Brad. And you're watching Tribal, Tribal News. News. On this week's show, we look into the responsibilities of our support staff. Their positions range from working in attendance, the library, the classroom, translating, and custodial duties. Overall, Choctaw cannot function without them. Let's see what being a part of the support staff means to them. I am the media specialist here at Choctaw. So what I do um, is basically anything that is in the media center. So checking in and out books, um, processing and ordering new books, computers, Chromebooks, um, the TV carts, DVDs, anything that um, anyone uses from the media center, I am in charge of that. <clears throat> Good evening, Choctaw Hedgy High School. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Gloria Skay, and I have been working with the school district for about 15 years. My position here at Choctaw is the registrar. So what that entails is I handle all the enrollments here at Choctaw Hatchie High and basically take all the paperwork in and make sure that we have all of the document sets needed for registration. Well, excuse me, my name Glad. I've, I've been here for 10 years. My name is Wu. That's all y'all need to know on that part. I'm the lead custodian here. I am the school nurse. And that is, um, I give medications every day. Um, we have some emergency meds. And then, you know, if a situation happens on campus, um, they'll call me and the SRO um, to that situation. My name is Perdita Betts, and I've been working for the district for 16 years. I do all the referrals, detention, suspensions. I input it in the system, use of phones. Um, anyone that comes through the door, I, I deal with, and I help Stacy. We help each other. I'm the principal secretary for Ms. Heck, and I also take care of the switchboard, so I answer all incoming calls coming into the school. I have been um, working for the district for seven years, but I volunteered here for 10 years before that. And then I graduated from here many, many moons ago. So. My name is Maria Gamboa, and I've been working for the district 25 years. My position here at Choctaw is an interpreter for incoming ELL students, and it entails going into classrooms and assisting them in contact with parents. So for me, being a part of the support staff means that I um, am able to support both the students and the teachers. With it being the media center, I'm able to offer a lot of resources for anyone um, needing a little bit of extra help, any kind of um, educational support, I'm happy to do that. Being a part of the staff means quite a bit. Um, I have like I said, I've been here for six years, so I've enjoyed my time here. Um, being part of the team, being a team player, has been a, a big thing for me here at Choctaw. I love being a part of the support staff. Um, it's a great group of people. I think sometimes some of them are not um, appreciated as much as they should be because they're um, behind the scenes a bit, but um, it's, it's a wonderful job, fulfilling for the most part for me. I get to support people. No, uh, I really just like the funds in my vacation time. And I really like kids. No, I really like playing here with the kids and going to the gym and beating them in basketball. Miss Hake, you didn't hear that? You didn't hear that? It's a great camaraderie with other um, secretaries here in the building. We help teachers, we help students, we help the administrators, and we help visitors. Being part of the support system means a lot to me because I feel I can help the students learn English and I can help the parents follow their students' needs in the school system. Some of my favorite things about this job are getting to interact with all of the students who come in and out of the media center and I enjoy reading. I read all of the new books that come in so I really enjoy that as well. Some of my favorite things about my job is being able to 
talk with the parents, to speak with some of the students, and just dealing with people that come from all different walks of life. Um, just being able to help and to get the things that they need, the documentation that they need, um, to get them into school, because that is our goal, is to make sure that um, we get students into the school and make sure that they're happy and make sure that the parents are happy. Being around students, I love children. Um, before I was at this school, I was at an elementary school. Um, so any age kiddo, uh, I love to be around um, and helping however needed. Game day is my favorite. So I like Big Green game day. I like playing um, Big Green over the intercom on Fridays. And my favorite thing about working here, I get to see kids grow up. I get to see kids that goofy, such as myself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's your next question? Some of my least favorite things are the fact that the media center is often very quiet and unused. Um, so I would much rather it be filled with students than empty. My least favorite things are probably when the kids try to lie. <laughs> which is a normal kid thing. Um, but I respect people and I expect that in return. Um, and probably some parents <laughs> dealing with wonderful parents. My least favorite is when the students get in trouble and they don't understand what went wrong. And then we have to get in touch with the parents, but we can overall fix it all. Least favorite would be announcements. <laughs> and rain days, but other than that, it's a good job. Tell y'all what I at least like. You, you getting this? Is, is this on right here? Yeah. Quit TikToking in the bathroom and using all my toilet paper. That really make me angry. And I hate cleaning up floods since y'all been TikToking in the bathroom. I got some licks I want to give. If I was giving anyone advice um, for the person taking this position after me, it would be um, to always just be creative and be thinking of ideas and ways that people can feel more comfortable in the library since books are not always the priority anymore. It's just being open and thinking of ways that you can expand the media center. My advice to the next person would be organization. Um, in this position, um, it takes a lot of organization because there's a lot of paperwork. Um, so you want to make sure that you're on top of the paperwork and that way if there is a problem, um, you can uh, tackle it right away and still be able to um, get the students in into the school. Any advice I would give to the next person taking this position would be don't give free Gatorades. Listen to the kids, they know more than what you think they know in the school. Pay them more attention, give them some attention, and be patient. You gotta have some patience. My advice to the next person taking my position would be, be patient, have a clear understanding that they do not understand the U.S. system and how things work and how important education is. Um, they'd have to figure it out themselves. <laughs> Just remember that don't take anything personal from, from the frustrations from students or parents. Um, and just remember that the students are, are they're your babies. I, I treat them like they're mine. So just remember, love them. And as long as they know that you love them and you care about them, then they will care about you. Give them somebody they can talk to without being so serious, but getting the point across. Because some of y'all, ooh, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. Really, really need it. Don Brown. Uh, I've been working in the Oakland County system since 1996. It was a great honor to be chosen uh, as support of the year. Um, it's, a, a, you know, it makes you feel pretty good that, you know, your, your peers think highly of you as far as getting this award. You know, you have to do several different things every day. You know, you may be subbing one day, you may be in the test room or doing one-on-ones. Whatever you're, you know, they ask you to do as far as uh, your administration, you know, that's what we're supposed to do. And um, 
I just enjoy it. Enjoy it. Just working with the kids, seeing the kids be successful. They're trying to, you know, education wise, you know, they don't understand is trying to explain things to them and help them uh, be successful uh, academically. With working in the ESC department, I have to be patient with the kids. I have to be patient with the girls as well in basketball. Um, you know, sometimes uh, it's hard juggling coaching girls and guys because they're females and the males are different. So, uh, but, you know, it's a challenge, but I enjoy both of it. I'm Coach Thigpen, and I'm the athletic director. Coach Round does a lot of roles here, here at the school. Uh, he has a willingness and a heart to serve. Um, and he just wants to do the right things by students. And he just has a, a great uh, giving heart. You know, as a coach, Coach Brown, he, you know, he does an amazing job on the floor uh, with, with the girls. And he gets the most out of his, his team. And he works extremely hard uh, for the betterment of the school and also the girls' basketball program. Uh, he's just always uh, wanting to do the right thing uh, for our school and our kids. Did you say bust a move, baby? Oh, Jesus. I don't even remember what it was. But I was getting in there like swimwear. I was <laughs> And a little, you know, I was shaking, baking, all that, all that. That's all I got. I, I can't get all my moves. We got to keep something for the next year for the show. For the show. Quit messing up at my pet rallies, too. Bye, kids! <laughs> Thank you, support staff, for making our school a better place. Seniors, please send pictures and videos showcasing fun times you've had throughout the year. Don't forget to add cute baby pictures. Make sure you're checking your school email and Choctaw's Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for end of the year updates. That's all for today, Choctaw. Till next time. Till next time. This concludes our broadcast day.